Let us have a look at how to stretch text in Canva. Let's jump on in. Whenever you select the text and then hover over one of the edges, when you then left click, hold and drag, this will actually make your text bigger and if you go to the opposite direction, it will make your text smaller. However, this is by no means stretching your text because whenever you do that, your text perfectly stays in proportion. This is the default behavior in Canva and most of the times, this is also what you want. So with that said, how can you stretch text then? Well, to be honest, stretching text in Canva is a bit confusing. However, it can be done and here's how. First, select the text that you would like to stretch. Then in the upper right corner of the screen, click on Share. Then below, click on Download. And then make sure that the option Transparent Background is ticked. Also select the current page. In our case, we just want page one because that is the page that has our text on it. So I click on Done here. And finally, we click on Download right here. Please note that the transparent background feature is a Canva Pro feature. If you don't have Canva Pro, you won't be able to download with a transparent background. But with that said, if you're on Canva free, I will also let you know how to get this done in a minute. So please continue watching until the end. So for all Canva Pro users, we click on download right here. And once our file is downloaded, we actually re-upload it to Canva. You can do that the way I just did it, which means you just drag and drop it here onto Canva and it will then automatically be uploaded. Or you can also click on upload here in the left sidebar and then on top click on upload files, then locate the file on your computer and then upload it. Now I'm just going to delete our text box here for a second. And here under images in our uploads folder, I'm going to click on our file that we just uploaded. Now you might think that this actually looks exactly the same as before, right? Well, it looks like it, but in fact it isn't. There is a very important difference here. And that is that this element that we have now here is actually considered a photo by Canva now because we exported it from Canva first and then re-uploaded it. You can see that this is the case when you click on it, then on top here it will say edit photo. If this was just regular text right here, when you click on your text, you're not getting this edit photo tab. And the thing is now that we can only stretch text in Canva when Canva considers an element as a photo. Sounds confusing, right? Well, indeed, but that's just the way it is. Now with that said, to stretch your text, here's how you do it. Double click on your text and you will then get into crop mode. And that is exactly the secret. We have to get into crop mode in order to stretch text in Canva. And we can only do that with photos or images. So we had to transform our text into a photo first in order to get access to this crop feature. Now that we have that to stretch our text, make sure to press and hold shift on your keyboard and then hover over one of these four edges right here until you see this double arrow symbol. Keep holding shift, that is very important. And now drag. And just like that, and just like that, you can stretch text. Before you click on done in the lower left corner of the screen, make sure to extend the crop area so that it actually covers the whole text. Like this. Once that is done, click on done. Now I'm just going to reposition the element. Just like that. Let me show you this one more time because it's indeed a bit confusing. So first of all, we double click on our text element and we get into crop mode. Then we press and hold shift on our keyboard and then we hover over one of the edges here until we see this double arrow symbol and then we simply drag to stretch our text. Once I stretch the text, I can also reposition it right here. And then before you click on done, Make sure to extend the crop area so that the whole text is covered. So here we are good, but here on the other side we have to extend this here a little bit more. Just like that, now the whole text will be visible. And once we've done that, we click on done. And we're all good. Now let me just make this a little bit smaller here so that we can actually see the whole text. And this is how you stretch text in Canva. Now, I promised you guys that for those of you who don't have Canva Pro, I'm also going to show you how to stretch text in Canva. And here's how we do it. First of all, let me add some dummy text to the canvas by simply pressing T on the keyboard. Now I'm just going to make this text a little bit bigger. And I'm just gonna write my stretched text. I will make it a little bit bigger again. And maybe I will put this on two lines like this. Now, as we cannot export this text with a transparent background, as this is a Canva Pro feature only, what we have to do is that we are going to export this with the white background. And then we quickly remove this background using a free website. And then we're going to re-import the text without background into Canva, just as we did before. So with that said, while your text is selected, in the upper right corner of the screen, click on share. 
Then below click on download. On the select pages just make sure that the correct page here is selected. In our case this would be page 1. Then we click on done here. And finally we click on download. Once you've done that please go to the following website. eastshift.com slash remove dash background. This website is completely free and you don't even need to register. So once you're here click on choose file. Then locate and click on the file that we just downloaded. In our case it's that file right here. Our text with the white background. So once you selected that click on open. Then click on upload. Our text with background is now uploaded to this website. Below now tick the white option right here. Because the background that we would like to remove is completely white. So we have to tell that to that website so that it can actually successfully remove the background. Once we've done that, scroll down and then here click on submit. Then scroll down and under output image you will then find your text with a transparent background. Now scroll down again and finally click on save. Now go back to Canva. We can now delete this text right here. And then we go to Uploads in the left sidebar. On top we click on Upload Files. Now find and select our new file that we just downloaded from this external website. And click on Open. Our text has now been uploaded here under Images and here it is. So we click on it to add it to our canvas. Looks perfect, lovely. Now double click on your text to get into crop mode. Next press and hold shift on your keyboard, then hover over one of the edges until you see this double arrow symbol and then drag. And just like that you can stretch your text. Now let us reposition this one a little bit. Now make sure that the crop area here spans over your whole text. So once again we hover over that edge here, we drag so that it covers the whole text. We will do the same on the other side as well. Just like this. And finally we click on done in the lower left corner of the screen. And here we have our stretched text. Using the exact same process you can actually also stretch your text vertically. To do that you would simply go to crop mode again. Then you hover over one of the edges. Make sure that you press and hold shift as always. And now instead of dragging to the left side you will simply drag upwards. And then reposition the text so that the whole text is actually in the crop area right here. Finally click on done in the lower left corner of the screen. I know guys, this is quite some work to actually get this done within Canva. It should obviously be much much easier but it is what it is I guess. I'm pretty sure that in the near future they will come up with an update that will actually make it easier to stretch text in Canva. And that's it, if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more Canva tutorials.